You like Jurassic Park? Why do you make that face? <laughs> I just didn't expect that. Oh, wait, <laughs> you got Jurassic Park? You got like little, little Some little leaves? Meat. We match on purpose. Yeah, we planned this. I'd be a raptor, and you'd be that like big old stupid one hangs on the water. You'd be like the half hippo looking one. You keep talking about team building. I know, I just don't like you two. Damn. Jurassic Park's so good. Which one? There's so many. Are you talking about the one with Chris? Was that guy? Rawr. No, not the one with fucking Chris Pratt. That was trash. It's still good, because I like dinosaurs. But That's what I mean, there's so many. No, the originals. Welcome to the video, man. Today we're gonna talk about why I take steroids and why Avi is juiced to the gills. Join up, why we take PEDs, deadlift day, bench day, steroid talk, tune in. It'll change you. You take one good picture in a hotel selfie and they think of you different. It is kind of cool though. It's like the, uh, like if they say you're cheating in video games, you know, it's kind of a compliment and you're not cheating. Taking steroids, you're taking steroids, kind of a compliment. I hadn't gotten those in a while. Now I dropped 60 pounds and I'll get them a little bit. It kind of feels good. Why haven't you taken steroids? So for those that are new, I came up in powerlifting, the old era, but the USAPO was not very popular. Um, geared powerlifting was the move. The movie Bigger, Stronger, Faster, some of those guys were uh, my boss at the time, so I was highly, highly surrounded by steroids since about age 22. Um, even before that, I didn't know it, but the gym I used to go to, the strength and conditioning coach when I was like in eighth grade, it was a very big bodybuilding gym, and so there's a lot of stuff going on. I talk about it a lot too, and some of you might take it negative, or like I'm being lame and nonchalant, but like uh, I don't like love powerlifting. Like I like lifting weights, I like being healthy, but what I like to do is to entertain and help people. In the, in the barbell, I just said this on the podcast, the barbell is my microphone. It allows me to be a vessel to communicate with y'all. And, and the gym is what allowed me to do that. It allows people to be free. It allows you to be a kid. It allows you to have fun. It allows you to be healthy and build a community where you can't really do that in 2023. It's really hard. 2023, because I'm future telling. And as for steroids, it's pretty simple. Like none of it would make me sleep better, wake up better, or be a better human. And none of it would make me feel better. So, you know, I've deadlifted 705. Whether I do a natural or on PEDs, if I deadlift 800 pounds, I'm not gonna feel any better. It's not gonna fulfill my soul. It's not gonna make me feel like a better human. So for me, I've never been that tempting. I may joke about it, and it definitely crosses my mind, but it's, I just know it's not gonna be a life changer for me. Now, when would I take steroids? There's definitely a couple of occasions that might come up that I might take steroids. Would you ever take steroids? No, no? I would not, no. Why? Because I would discredit myself. Whatever I accomplish, on steroids, and I'd be like, well, I did it with steroids. So I wouldn't be fulfilled or like satisfied with that. Does it make sense? Like I wouldn't really be, I wouldn't take full credit. And as is, I already don't take credit for my own work like now without being on steroids. So imagine, I probably would, maybe I'd give up lifting if I, you know what I mean? Like if I were to continue lifting with, while like on steroids. I know you have to work hard, you know, and still train hard if you're on steroids to accomplish like amazing feats. But just personally, maybe it, just, it would take it away. It would take the fun away. I want to accomplish what I want to accomplish na like naturally. Like to the, like what is it? Find my potential um, or reach my fullest potential naturally. So we have your opinion on people that are not natty, that yeah. claim natty. Yeah. What about the other way around? I do think there's a fine line of being transparent with how you go about things and also promoting them or glorifying steroids. A lot of people don't agree with this, but I believe that when you have garnered an audience of any level of significance, and that's up for interpretation, that a certain level of responsibility shall be held. I take, you know, the pressure and the responsibility of having a larger audience than most or being somewhat of a public figure very seriously and so yeah I joke and I'm sure I've made mistakes and said things that aren't probably right but I do truly think about the products that I push to people the partnerships I have the collabs I have 
and the information I throw out there that it isn't detrimental to anyone of any age. And so when you start to glorify Trenbolone and you're throwing it on the internet to millions, you know that you probably have someone ages 15 to 25 watching that aren't really ready for that conversation and are gonna take what you say that they really look up to you. Um, and I think that's whack. Obviously, yeah, we've done videos on people that are also slimy in the sense of what they're selling or marketing and portraying isn't how they got to where they are, right? Being juiced to the gills, sitting on a Ferrari, selling you this protein supplement, I think that's whack too. And there is no harsh line here, you know, and, and we all live our lives how we choose, how we deem most moral, but, um, and I'm not here to be the moral high ground or a gatekeeper, um, but I do wish that all content creators or public figures of any nature uh, look into themselves and, and, and what they're really trying to portray and spread on the internet for sure. how this is set up right now. It's whatever, I have one more set. I'm not gonna cry about it. Look at how the plates are set up. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I just thought he didn't put it on all the way. That's okay, honestly, that's like Mike in a nutshell. Yeah, he just doesn't care. If, like, if the weight's on there, the weight's on there. If it was bags of sand, wearing the same thing, he wouldn't care. Yeah, he'd be like, well, don't be soft. Just do it, just lift it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. What would it take for you to take steroids? Um, it would have to be a health issue. I don't want to, yeah, I just don't. It won't ever be for strength, I don't think. I say that now, but you know. I, I, I never know, but honestly, I can't think of a scenario where I'm like, I really want to hit this weight and I'm going to take some steroids. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So. You want to take it to feed your ego. No, I don't have an ego. I'm not I don't. Saying you do. No, 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 I know. I'm not saying you do, but I'm just like, I don't. Okay. Okay, that's not true either. Of course, everyone has an ego. Uh, I'm not going to say that it's I don't. It's not a big one. Yeah, people are going to come for me and be like, you do have an ego. But um, no, when it comes to strength, like purely lifting based on my own natural abilities is like something that I like uh, prioritize. So taking steroids would just defeat the purpose of that. What would it take for me to hop on the gist? <laughs> the Capri Sun, the Sunny D. Um, I answered a long time ago and I think a lot of people, not everyone, but a lot of people do hop on because of their ego and they think it'll find something that they don't have in themselves, whether physical confidence or like a meaning of strength. I have self-esteem issues, we talked about it, and some of the nutrition stuff, just like everybody else, but I am pretty confident in who I am as a person. So I do know that self-awareness, therapy, being introspective can really go a long way. And the only way that I would hop on some stuff is if it would be life-changing for those around me and my family. So I said in the past, and people think it's superficial, but I think it's superficial just to do it for the ego. For me, if I got a movie role, you know, they say, Mike, you need to cut your chops, and you're gonna be the new Wolverine, and you gotta be 6% body fat at 200 pounds or something, um, and we're gonna get you in a Marvel movie, or, you know, that's obviously just one example, something like that, where it's gonna life change, where I can take care of those around me, my family, my loved ones, um, I'd probably do it. Uh, I'd consult the doctor, I know a bunch of friends and experts, and I'd find the best way to do it, but other than that, I don't think this TRT or HRT is, is as extreme as everyone says. There are people with endocrine issues and hormone issues, but most people just don't take care of themselves and then they'll rely on a random number and say like, yeah, man, I really need TRT. Like that's called therapy. You don't need testosterone therapy. You wanna hop on gear and that's fine, but don't like play it down for yourself to morally feel better. I don't think it's always a moral discussion, but for me, I feel healthy, my energy is good, my mental is good. I'm 34 years old, so I'm not young. And like each time people start talking about TRT, I feel like the years start to get younger. Hey, when you're 40, you should start to look at your hormones and TRT. A couple of years later, when you guys are around year 30 years old, you should start to look at TRT. You now I hear people saying like, yeah, man, you're getting to your late 20s. Like late 20s? Lift some weights, eat a fucking vegetable, 
get some good sleep for a year, your testosterone is probably going to be okay. Like the amount of people that actually have an endocrine or hormone system are, are much smaller percent than what the internet's showing you or what these people are downplaying uh, their excuse to use steroids. We're going to self-justify everything. I've been guilty of it as well. But if you take a real look in the mirror, I think you'll figure it out. That's probably it for this one, man. A little bit deeper talk. We're trying to make it fun. Steroids, I think, are a very taboo topic. I think we need to talk about things more that uh, are taboo. Uh, that's how you learn about them. You're keeping them secret, keeping them in the closet doesn't help anybody else. It doesn't help educate. It doesn't help spread the, 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 the word. Um, and I'm no steroid doctor or steroid expert by any means, but, you know, do your research. Take care of yourself. Take care of those around you, man. We over me. New videos every uh, Monday and Thursday. Sound like we'll catch you in the next one.